Hello guys, let's learn UV border distance uh, generator in the substance painter in this video. Uh, right now I've opened a scene which is a simple uh, sample file from the substance painter. It is preview sphere. You can just open it from file and then open sample. Then you get this. So it has got a lot of uh, already work done material. So I just want to put a layer on top of it. Okay just drag and drop and it brings up a layer and it's a, a glossy layer okay uh, it's a blue color glossy layer and it's it, it has got that nice um, grunge variance in the specular highlight that gives a unique character to it um, now I've kept this uh, both uh, panels one is 3d and another one 2d aside and uh, I would like to add a mask to this so I'll add a white mask and to the white mask I'll add a generator now generator is a, a very procedural kind of uh, utility used uh, in substance painter and there are so many generators here which uh, will work on the information which we have already given to it in terms of uh, maps so we have a lot of maps here like uh, world space normal we have curvature uh, we have position so we have a lot of information here so this information is used by these generators and it will give you some stunning results now here i'm using a generator called uh, uv border distance which is uh, actually using your uv shells okay these are basically the different uv shells or islands whatever you call so this is one shell this is one shell so these islands are basically identified by this uv border okay so if you could able to see every shell has got some bleeding of blue coming inside and that can be uh, inverted by uh, invert button then you should able to see it's uh, strong in the center and there's a lot of wear and tear in the edges it's not identifying curvature that you should remember it is identifying the uv shell border and then uh, you have this balance which is going to uh, you know offset the position of this border by which you can generally bring it more closer and then you have a contrast which makes this one uh, more sharp which is earlier like soft okay and then we have smoothness uh, which uh, is going to smoothen things up and then we have distance which is going to again work almost like your balance okay so you can use this uh, filter to identify the uv borders and uh, where this is going to be used and i would say it is completely depend on that particular situation where uv shells need a border and uh, on top of it anyhow you can put a mask and all work um, you know um, remove that unwanted areas if you are expecting them to be removed okay so uh, this is quite simple tool there is nothing complexity about this and uh, how do you want to use as i told your uv shells is what your guide and if it's helping you then you uh, you can rely on it if not curvature is the tool you want to rely on you can try that one also uh, don't get confused this with the curvature effect because this is not identifying the curvature of the surface 